Hello and welcome everybody. In this video, we'll be discussing how to data drive your tests in Sahi Pro. In the previous video, you saw how to create a business driven test automation scenario using Sahi Pro. We used a shopping cart application and created a test case with our business steps and then implemented them as functions using run record. This is the scenario file we created. The link to the previous video and blog can be found in the description below. Now we'll take this scenario further by data driving our tests. Testers may often need to keep their data separate from their test cases. There could be two reasons. Firstly, multiple test cases may need to access the same data. Or secondly, a test case or some of its steps may need to be repeated with multiple sets of data. So we need a framework to enable a test case to be run repeatedly with multiple sets of data. You can set up the scenario to pick up its data from a separate data file and re-execute itself with the provided data. This is called a data-driven framework. Sahipro 9.0 brings you an intuitive UI to set up your data drive. In your scenario file, select the row you need to data drive. Let us say I am selecting this login row. Right click on the row and select data drive. The data drive dialog now opens up. In here, you are asked to enter a data file name and a label. Give a meaningful name for the data file. The new data file will get created with the name you provide, which will by default be a CSV file. So if you want to create an Excel file, you can provide the file name along with an extension here. Now enter a label name, which is basically a name to segregate groups of data in the same data file. Now select the username and password parameters to be included in the data file. They are checked by default and click save. Now you see that the scenario file is updated. A data column gets added in the file. If you selected a single row for data drive, you'll see the data file colon label name on the row as I see here now against the login row. Now let us also see a data drive for multiple rows. In your test case, select multiple rows or steps that contain one or more arguments. So here let's select add books and verify card total steps. Right click and select data drive. The data drive dialog opens. In here, we enter the data file name, which is the same as we used earlier. So we are using the same file again. In label, we enter a new label name to save the books related details. You can select the column headers you want to include in the data file from the list of all the parameters you have here. Use checkboxes to select or remove parameters and then save. Now you see that the data file name and label is shown against the group of rows you selected data drive for. And you also see repeat and end labels on top and bottom of the group. This indicates that this group of steps will now pick data from this data file and label and will repeat as many number of times as the data demands. The scenario file is updated and saved automatically. You can use Ctrl and click here to open and see the data file that was created. So see here that the label credentials contains the login related data. A lot of scenarios may need to use the same login credentials. So storing them here in one place outside of the scenario may be more manageable. I can reuse this data file and label to use these values wherever I need in my test. The book details label contains books related data. You can even choose to edit or add more data rows here. So let's say that I would like to test the cart value calculation with different input data. So let me add another row of data here in which 
I will add 10 Java books and let's say 5 Ruby books and 3 Python books. The expected total is 50-50. Another example test could be a check for boundary values of the various fields to see if the application behaves fine. So let's say I add 0, 0 and 0 for all types of books. My car total then should be 0. Let me also try it for another test for negative or alphabetical values in my book fields for which again my car total would be 0. So let us save this and see if this data is used correctly in our execution. Now let us execute the test case. Right click on the test case name, select run record. In the run record dialog, select run from the drop down. The scenario will now execute with data picked from the data file as many times as the number of data rows exist in the respective data file label. Notice that you see the books getting added multiple times during the execution. And it was successful. We can go and check the run logs now. The log shows the details of the run. Each step row is shown in green when passed. Data picked from the data file is shown in the yellow row. And the steps repeat as many number of times as many data rows you had added. So here you see that these have executed four times. So there you go. You just created data drive for your business driven test automation scenario. Isn't it super easy and intuitive? Note that you can perform data drive and extract your data even when the keywords are not yet implemented. That is, you can set up your data driven framework even when the application under test is not yet ready. Give this a try and we'll see how to take this scenario forward in the next video. Thank you.